music and audio visualizer in the style of Trap Nation. Alright, let's get to it. So, you're already in After Effects, you have your composition open, and you're going to want to put two things into, import two things from your computer into your project. You're going to want to have a picture of uh, anything really, I'll just use New York City, something that, that works as a background, and you're going to want to have a song, so I'm just going to choose this song, because it's copyright free. Alright. So you're going to want to work on your background first, so d click and drag it in here and uh, adjust it if it's uh, not the right size. Alright, that should be good. And type in, in effects and presets, mirror. Alright, and put that on to this background. So now you're going to want to move this slider until the mirror is right at the center. So you can see me moving it. I'm almost there. You can zoom in and uh, try and get the most accurate, I guess. Um, let's just try a thousand, I think that'll work. Oh, nope, okay. Uh, it takes a bit of time sometimes. Oh, there we go, 960 for this picture. And you're just going to want to put it back to regular size. There you go, you got your background. That's how Trap Nation does it, and uh, that's how we're going to do it. Alright, so you're going to want to next make a solid. Let's just name this Spectrum. And type in Audio Spectrum into the effects and presets. And click and drag that. Oh, and click and drag that onto your Spectrum. Now, you don't have a song yet, so put that into your composition. Just right under there. And now, you go into effect controls for this and uh, select the song. And you're going to want to start putting in these settings for uh, later use. I got it written on a piece of paper here. But first, I'm just going to do the aesthetic so you can actually see it. I'm going to make these white and uh, make it the frequency bands. Well, let's make it a thousand. Nope, not a hundred, but a thousand. Uh, no, no, not a thousand. You're going to want to make it two thousand, actually. Two thousand. You're going to want to make the start frequency is good, but the end frequency, you want to make that 140. It's kind of a difference. Um, th thickness, change that to four. Make it look nice. Maximum height, change that to about a thousand. Um, du audio duration, milliseconds, you want to make that 150. All right. And now you're going to want to go into your um, effects and presets and type in polar and get your polar coordinates and click and drag that on the spectrum again. You're going to want to change the type of conversion to react to polar and put that all the way up to 100. Now you got a circle going on here, but it's not completed. So this is how you complete it. You go up to your uh, top bit, change the start point to zero. 540 and then 1119 and also 540 and you can see that this doesn't also this also doesn't make a circle but it's in trap city it's mirrored so we're gonna mirror that too I'm gonna just put that on there the spectrum again and just like we did for the background we're gonna move it over to the center there you go, you see the other half, move it in. Connect the two. Gonna wanna zoom in. Get the closest you can. And, uh, is there any specific number? Oh, 1060. It's always a something 60. 960, 1060. I guess that's just the way it is. Now, if you scrub through it, you already see that, um, there's some movement going on. Uh, but, I forgot to change one thing. You wanna change this to side B. That's a fall on my part. All right. So next thing you're gonna want to do is oh my bad I forgot to change the maximum height to a thousand. I don't know how I bypassed that, but now you can see some some quite cool stuff going on there. There you go. You see you already see that. Okay. So, here's where it gets a bit interesting. This is where um, you need to download a plugin from Red Giant called, um, what's it called again? Just uh, going to here. Called, um, 
Nope. Not my bad. It's it's trap code. Trap code. Sound keys. Trap code sound keys. Now this is what you use to give the um every, your entire section a wiggle effect. Like when the audio gets when the bass drops, you know how everything shakes. That's what you use to make it and how it like pops out. It's just a, basically an easier tool to make things move to audio. So let's just uh, make a new spectrum. I mean solid and name that um, sound. Oh, and this is an important part with the uh, um because you're gonna use code to uh, code in some of this. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you type all of this. Um, I'll put it in the description and just copy and paste it where it's needed. So you gotta name this solid sound keys or else it won't know what to do. Sound keys. Okay. And it goes black. And copy and drag. Click and drag that. And you start to see all of this going on. What's this? You gotta change your uh, audio layer to push roll right. And there you go. You got a little bit of a spectrum. But this is basically... Um, what what you're gonna use to uh you know set up your audio spectrum. Now you're gonna wanna click and drag this little box so that um yeah so this little box um, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with it. It's always these uh three little ones that you wanna mess with. I'm just gonna scrub through. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna wanna. Change that to down there and up there. So even the highest one doesn't touch the lowest one doesn't touch it. All right, that sounds good. And you're gonna want to click apply. Actually, yeah, apply. And you see up here that it's uh, applying all the effects. Now this could take uh, long depending on how powerful your PC is. So just be patient with it. It should be good. All right, it's applied now. Now, what you're going to want to do for your spectrum is go into here and um, I'll click on scale and paste in this command right here. You got your two expressions. You got your pulse expression and your shake expression. You're going to want to use the pulse expression, so copy that and uh, alt click on scale and paste it into there and if you scrub through you can see sort of that it's uh, moving with the uh, beat I guess so that's that's what you want to see that means it's working alright so um, while we're here let's just go into sound keys again and open up range 2 and get this second box and move it, um, let's just, uh, let's move it around, yeah, lower, let's move it lower, because the second one, you, you want it to shake, like, if the bass drops, you want it to shake, like, a lot, so you want to make this one lower than the previous one, so you get that really cool shake effect, alright, and you're going to want to apply it too, so you see it applying up there again, okay, just gonna wait for it and this is where your second expression comes um, in use go to your second expression this is your shake expression you're gonna want to copy all of this and go into position alt click it and paste it and you see it shaking actually let me turn this off a bit if you scrub through this you can see it moving up and down I mean I mean pulsing and shaking and all those cool things and that's you know you could finish that you can finish and be done right there but of course this isn't this isn't what the entire trap nation thing looks like um, we're gonna not gonna be using this uh, sound keys anymore so you can put that away um, if you want to put a logo in the middle and make it move with this then let me show you how to do that too my tools are down here um, want to get your ellipse tool and change that to white uh, yeah yeah um, make a new shape layer and hold shift and click and drag to make yourself a nice circle alright that looks nice um, move your composition to the beginning so there's no movement going on and you want to scale that up just so it fits in there 
and uh, now I want to make that right in the center. So I'm gonna open up my title action save, move that in using the arrow keys. You can get some extreme precision going on here, and it's not exactly center. I think that's the center. Yeah, that's that's the center. Okay. It takes a while to find it sometimes. And you're going to want to um, get your expressions out again. Um, start with the post expression because there's something you need to do here. You want to go into your scale again and paste it. All right. But you see how right now it's smaller than the actual spectrum because this um, expression is made for the spectrum and this is scaled down already. So you're going to want to change this to, um, let's just change this to minimum stretch, just change it to 100. How does that look? Mm, actually, let me put in the um, this shake expression so if we... Uh, look forward it'll have the same position and you don't need to change the shake expression at all so that'll be useful okay um see right here there's a little bit of a uh, movement going on right there but for the most part I think that when this moves it's already scaled up enough maybe just uh, move the actual thing itself down a bit and you should be good there you already got your center in the middle hope that helps if you want to put a circular logo in your uh, in the middle that looks so nice alright now trap, trap nation I was just trap city and trap nation I always get the two confused I hope you know what I'm talking about trap nation not trap city alright you're gonna wanna get your spectrum and copy it three times three times um you can always add glows to uh, all of this and stuff and if you wanna make it cool and stuff but I'm not gonna do that this is just a tutorial it's not for aesthetic purposes okay and this is gonna be your the cool things I have in behind like the multicolors you're gonna wanna change this to a uh, uh, let's make it a kind of a pink and change the audio duration to 130 bam right behind there okay change this to a uh, let's make this up like a, a green like a toxic green something that looks nice like that change this to 110 bam right there and let's make this a blue I'm sure I got the colors wrong in this, but you know what? It doesn't matter. You can change the colors, make it whatever you want. And make this 90, the last one 90. There you go. So you see how everything is uh, nice and dandy. When the bass drops, you see how everything moves, like Trap Nation, and it looks all nice and stuff. But we're not done yet. I mean, you could be done here again. I mean, this looks really nice, but yeah, we gotta add the particles to the back. So, let's add a new solid. Let's name this particles. Particles, there we go. Um, and let's find CC particle systems. You can use particle systems or particle world. It doesn't really matter what you use. Uh, where's my particle? Oh, right there. And let's move this up to the back, uh, to the front. Let's let's center this. Let's single this out right now, just so we can uh, see what we're dealing with. You're gonna want to change the particle to uh, make this white first, um, and then change the particle to a faded sphere. Yeah, like that. Um, I'm gonna want to make it. Uh, Let's make the bird size and death size the same. Let's make it a 50. Actually, no. I think it's I think it's good the way it is. It's good the way it is. But now you're gonna mess want to mess around with the birth and the birth rate and this and the other stuff. Actually, this is a bit too big. Actually, I'm gonna change this to point point 
25. Yeah, point twenty-five. There we go. That looks a lot better. It's not huge and killing everything. <laughs> it doesn't kill anything, but whatever. Um, change the birth rate to actually producer, producer in physics. And mm, honestly, there's a lot that you can do here. There's a, it isn't like a set thing. You can make the particles anything you really want. Oh, let's see the physics and the gravity. Let's make the gravity zero. Ooh, where does that go? Where does that go? That's a bit too fast. That's really fast, actually. Gonna wanna, yeah, turn that all down a bit. Um, 1.5. Just uh, settle my OCD longevity. Um, let's turn that up to three seconds. So they last three seconds. Um, and the birth rate. Yeah, let's let's see how that is. Um, let's go into scrub through it at the lowest way that you can. Okay. There we go. That that's that's actually pretty nice. Let's uh render that a bit. Oh, that's fast. I hope that's not how it actually is going. Oh, oh the music's still going. All right. That that's way too fast. Uh, okay, let's. Turn down the velocity. 0.5. Let's see how that looks. Still pretty fast. Uh, hopefully it's not as fast. Okay. Um. Let's change that up down to point. Okay, that point one is a bit too much. Point two. Point three. <laughs> I'm really just experimenting here. All right, how does that look? I think that looks pretty nice. Let's uh, make the radius Y. No, actually, no. We don't need to change that at all. Here. Yeah, okay. Birth rate. Let's let's uh. Let's make the longevity again. Make that about. Let's make it last five seconds. Um, resistance, gravity, we can make direction, we can make it direction, or direction normalized, um, whatever you really want, but I think that explosive will be good for now, so if we see what that looks like right now, actually, you see that looks pretty nice, gonna wanna put that below, actually, nah, let's not put that below the spectrum, there you go, if you render that out a bit, let's just render that out a little bit, just a few seconds. Cause this takes, uh, it takes a pretty long time to render. Just like all things in After Effects. Let's get, let's make it render to about, uh, 50 seconds. I don't want to keep you waiting here forever just to see what this looks like. Even though you already saw it cause it's at the beginning. Okay. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Alright, if this tutorial was helpful for you, remember to give a like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you, and goodbye.